Hello guys, in one of my videos I got a question what is the ESP button in Mercedes-Benz E-Class. However, this ESP button, it doesn't matter whether it's, whether it's Mercedes, Opel, Audi or any other make, they act the same. In most of new cars there is this button ESP and it works only when your engine is on. It won't work if your engine is off guys. So, in this video I will show you and explain you what is ESP button. Mercedes-Benz E-Class but it doesn't matter like I told you a second ago which car you are in but we have this ESP button and as you see if I click it now nothing is really happening to make this button work we actually need to start engine so let I will start engine and now we will be able to switch this button on and switch this button off and this is electronic stabilization for your car and as you see if I click now I can see this kind of triangle sign if I switch it off as you see guys I can switch it off and I can switch it on and there is this triangle sign which shows that your ESP is off now because when it shows this triangle sign that means that your ESP is disabled as you drive many forces act upon your vehicle you probably feel some of them in everyday driving like when you lean toward the side in a corner when you turn the steering wheel, your car doesn't just move to one side, it actually rotates, about a vertical axis. Under some conditions, the car might rotate too much, or not enough. Like when you swerve to avoid an obstacle, take a curve too fast, or encounter a slippery road. This is why Mercedes-Benz invented ESP, the Electronic Stability Program. ESP's network of sensors, one of the most advanced in the industry, continually monitors how well the car is carrying out the driver's orders. ESP compares your steering inputs to the speed of each wheel and the car's rotation. Within milliseconds, ESP can sense if the car is not following your intended course. When you quickly steer to avoid an obstacle, the car wants to continue straight ahead. ESP breaks the inside rear wheel. This creates a rotational force that helps the car steer where you tell it to. As you recover, the rear of the car can spin out. ESP breaks the outside front wheel to help rotate the car back on course. If necessary, ESP can also reduce the engine's power to help restore control more quickly. When the laws of physics meet human nature, ESP helps keep you on course and in control.